The transatlantic partnership is really built on cities. And the reason for that is threefold. I think you have diplomatic connections between governments and between city leaders. You have trade connections with people who do business together. And you have, of course, cultural connections that last between cities. This is really emblematic, I think, of Chicago's sister city relationship, where we have sister cities all around the world. But I'll pick one, which is with Hamburg, where we have amazing connections with business, with people and cultural activities, and of course, uh, with our sister city governments. Um, and, and that relationship really is all about people. And that is what makes the transatlantic partnership so much stronger, is that we have people that interchange, that work with each other, and that helps us understand each other's culture and business environment in a deeper way, and ultimately really helps us address shared issues. There's so many times where we share best practices among cities, where there are items we can learn from our sister cities, and certainly in the transatlantic relationship, that's key. Uh, we were just in Paris earlier this summer exchanging ideas with Mayor Hidalgo. We were in London before that exchanging ideas with Mayor Khan. And that to me is really what the transatlantic relationship is all about. Now is really the time for cities in Germany and the U.S. to strengthen their bonds. And why is that? When you think of the roots that we have economically in the U.S. and in Germany, we share a common bond in manufacturing. This is a sector that I come from, and when you think about where our economies are headed, there's a significant amount of opportunity right now to onshore the manufacturing of products that might have been made uh, in other parts of the world. And that supply chain risk and the need to mitigate that supply chain risk is an area that can really connect Germany and the United States, not just with traditional areas like the electrification of the vehicle supply chain, um, that's important to both countries, but also in new areas with advanced manufacturing that we can onshore, create more jobs, and stabilize that supply chain both in Europe and in the United States. There's no better time than a time of crisis to make sure that transatlantic leaders are connected. And I say this as a Marshall Fellow myself, I know how important that transatlantic relationship is. And ultimately, our people, our businesses uh, have to truly understand each other, and that helps mitigate conflict and crises. So right now, given what's happening in Ukraine, and Kiev is the sister city of Chicago, it's the time for us to step up and help each other. And we've truly seen that with having uh, refugees come uh, here into Chicago, and we welcome them, and we want them to be integrated in our society and have opportunity. Um, but also to make sure that we're helping people abroad. And it's through that transatlantic bond uh, that we truly understand each other and mitigate conflicts.